In today's video lecture, we will be discussing the very important questions of essay 1 of November 2022 exam. I will be discussing all the solutions in detail which will be important for your final exam 2022 also. So let us see all the questions. Here in part A and B in section 1 you have, see the first question, find the prime factors of 456 section 1. Answer 1. We have to find out the prime factors of 456. How to find out the prime factor factors of 456? You have to do the prime factorization of 456. How to do it? 2 2s are 4. 2 2s are 4, 5 minus 4 is 1 6, 2 8s are 16, 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 1 0 1 4, 2 7s are 14, 57 1s are 57. So we can write this 456 as 2 into 2 into 57. That is we can say the prime factors of 456 are 2 2. 2 and 57. Now moving to question 2. In this question it is telling find a quadratic polynomial whose sum and product of zeros are given as minus 3 and 4 respectively. We have to form a quadratic polynomial. So sum and product of zeros is given means sum of zeros means it is nothing but alpha plus beta. So the sum of zeros value is given as minus 3. It means that alpha plus beta is equals to minus 3. And here it's given product of zeros is 4. Product of zeros means alpha into beta. So it's given that alpha into beta is equals to 4. Now how to form a quadratic polynomial? In order to form a quadratic polynomial, the formula is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. This is the formula to find out a quadratic polynomial. So x square minus in place of alpha plus beta sum of zero substitute the value minus 3 into x plus instead of alpha into beta substitute the value 4. Now what is my quadratic polynomial x square minus into minus is plus so plus 3x plus 4 is my required quadratic polynomial. Third question show that the pair of linear equations 2x plus y minus 5 is equals to 0 and 3x minus 5 minus 8 is equals to 0 are consistent. Remember when the equations are consistent, the equations are consistent when the condition will be a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So we have to prove that this is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So let us solve this. Answer 3. What are my equations? My given equations are 2x plus y minus 5 is equals to 0 and 3x minus 5y minus 8 is equals to 0. I have to show that these two are consistent. Okay. So I have to show that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So let me see what is a1, what is b1 and what is c1 and what is a2, what is b2 and what is c2 so here we can see that a1 is 2 a2 is 3 b1 is 1 b2 is minus 5 c1 is minus 5 c2 is minus 8 now what is a1 by a2 a1 by a2 is equals to 2 by 3 and what is b1 by b2 b1 here is 1 then we have y minus 5 that is minus 1 by 5 is b1 by b2 here we can see 2 by 3 is not equal to minus 1 by 5 so here we can say that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Therefore, these equations are consistent, we can say. Moving on to fourth question, it's telling write a is equals to 4, 6, 8, 9, 10 in set builder form. This form is roster form. We have to convert this roster form in set builder form. A is equals to 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. In order to convert roster form into set builder form, we have to carefully observe the pattern. How is the pattern? Here, if you observe these numbers 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, it cannot be written as 2 square, 2 cube, and 2 power 4 also. Because 2 2s are 4 and 2 cube will be 8. 
but here we have 6 so if you observe this 4 6 8 9 10 these are composite numbers so what are these these are my composite numbers composite numbers means numbers which have more than one factor for example 4 if you take it can be written as 2 2 za and also it can be written as 4 1 za that is it has factors 2 1 and 4 so more than two factors so what are these these are composite numbers so i'll write how to write it in uh, set builder form c like this a is equals to x is to x are composite numbers here the composite numbers and what is the value of x x is less than 11 is a prime number 12 is a composite number so we can write comma x is less than 12 because we have numbers only total 10 here and 12 is a composite number 11 was not a composite number that is why i have not written x is less than 11 11 is a prime number this is how you write a set builder form Moving to fifth question, this show that minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial p of x is equals to x square plus 4x plus 4. This equation is given and it is telling us to prove that it is a 0 of the polynomial. How to prove that it is a 0 of the polynomial? In place of this x, you have to substitute minus 2 and see if you are getting the answer as 0 or not. If it is 0, it will be a 0 of polynomial. So I can write, what is the equation given to you? x square plus 4x plus 4. Let us substitute p of in place of x we have to substitute minus 2 here right so minus 2 whole square plus 4 into minus 2 plus 4 2 twos are 4 plus into minus is minus 4 twos are 8 plus 4 8 minus 4 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 is 0 so we got the value of p of minus 2 as 0 so since we got the value of p of minus 2 and 0 we can say that minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial see the sixth question it's telling 125 is equals to 8q plus r find the value of q plus r what to do how to find out the value of q plus r so in this question if we observe we can compare this with a is equals to b q plus r it means that over here a is 125 b is 8 and we need to find out what is the value of q plus r okay so to find the value of q plus r you need to know what is q and what is r how to know what is q and what is r here what we can do is we can either divide it like this we know that this is known as b this is known as a this is q and whatever is remaining here will be r for this particular equation that is a is equals to b q plus r for this particular equation this is my a this is my b q i don't know r i don't know so I'll divide and see what I'm getting. Those are my Q and R values. So first step if I substitute here 125 and here if I have 8 uh, backwards, if I multiply 8 into 15 is 120. Okay, see. 15 8s are 5s are 40, 8 1s are 8, 8 plus 4 is 12. 15 into 8 is 120 and 5 minus 0 is 5. So here I have 8 as the dividend and then I have 5 ones are 5, 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, so whatever is this, this is the value is Q is 15 and the value of R here is 5. So 15 is Q and R is 5. So I can write Q plus R is equals to 15 plus R is 5 here. Here I got R, Q is 15, R is 5. So if I add them, 15 plus 5 is 20. Therefore, the value of Q plus R is 20. Now moving to the next question, seventh question. If the zeros of the quadratic polynomial 2x square minus 5x plus k are reciprocal to each other, zeros are reciprocal to each other. Reciprocal to each other means if one is in numerator, other one is in denominator. Then it is asking me to find out the value of k. So here, what is my equation? My equation is 2x square minus 5x plus k. And it is telling that zeros are reciprocal to each other. Zeros are reciprocal to each other means if one zero is alpha, then other zero is 1 by alpha. These are my zeros. In the hint it told me. Okay. Zeros are reciprocal to each other. One zero is alpha. Other zero is 1 by alpha. That is the meaning of reciprocal. Alpha is in numerator. Alpha is in denominator. And here I have to find out the value of k. So, if you observe here, this, if you compare this with ax square plus bx plus c, I can say a is 2, b is minus 5, and c is k over here. And I also know that alpha into beta is c by a so i'll use that property here i know one zero is alpha and other zero beta is one by alpha so in place of beta i will substitute one by alpha is equals to c by a c over here is k by a here is two 
अल्फा वन जा अल्फा अल्फा वन जा अल्फा एंड आई हैव वन वन जा वन इज इक्वल्स टू के बाय टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू इफ इट गोज आर साइड बिकम्स इन टू टू सो वी हैव टू इज इक्वल्स टू के और आई कैन से के इज इक्वल्स टू टू सो आई गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ के एज टू इन सेक्शन टू इट्स सेइंग आंसर ऑल दी क्वेश्चन ईच क्वेश्चन कैरीज टू मार्क्स एथ क्वेश्चन इट इज टेलिंग यूज यूक्लिड्स डिविजन एल्गोरिदम टू फाइन द एच सी एफ ऑफ नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड टू एटी टू सो टू फाइन आउट एच सी एफ ऑफ नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड टू एटी टू आई नो अगेन हाउ आई डिट जस्ट नाउ नॉर्मल डिविजन लाइक दैट आई हैव टू डू सो इट इज अ टू मार्क क्वेश्चन मीन्स आई नीड टू वेरीफाई ऑल्सो सो हियर इट्स गिवन दैट एच सी एफ ऑफ नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड टू एटी टू रिमेंबर वेन एवर दैट द स्मॉलर नंबर विल बी बी एंड द बिगर नंबर विल बी ए ओके सो B is ninety six and A here is two eighty two. That is the dividend. This is dividend and this is divisor. A is known as dividend. B is known as divisor. Now I'll divide them. Two ninety six two za. I'm getting two six za twelve. Two nine za eighteen. Eighteen plus one is nineteen. And if I do ninety six three za three six za eighteen. Three nine za twenty seven. Twenty seven plus one is twenty eight. I'm getting two eighty eight. But two eighty eight is more than two eighty two. So I will take ninety six two za. So ninety six two za one ninety two. I'm getting. Now I'll subtract both of them. This will be one, and this will be eighteen. Sorry. So eighteen minus nine is nine, and two minus zero is zero. Here I'll get. So now ninety six will come as become as dividend. Ninety one is ninety, and six minus zero is six again. Now ninety will be the dividend here. Okay, I'm continuing this step here. Ninety is the dividend, and I have over here six. I know. Six ones are six. Nine minus six is nine minus six is three, and I know six fives are thirty. So remember, in this normal Euclid's division uh, algorithm, whenever I get the remainder zero, I have to stop the division there. Here I'm getting the remainder zero, so I'll stop the division here, and this will be my HCF, the B value. So I'll write since remainder is zero, stop the division. And I'll write HCF here is how much? HCF is equals to B that is equals to six over here. Okay, so I'll use the equation A is equals to B Q plus R for verification. A here was two eighty two, B was ninety six into Q here is two plus R is ninety. Then again for this step, A is ninety six, B is ninety, Q is one, and R is six. Ninety-six is equals to ninety into one plus six. Then I have here A is ninety-six, B six, Q is fifteen, R is zero. So I'll write ninety is equals to uh, six into fifteen plus zero. So now I'll write therefore H C F already a root H C F is equals to B is how much six. Okay, moving on to ninth question. It's telling find the relation between zeros and coefficients of the polynomial x square minus six x minus seven. In order to find out the relationship between zeros and coefficients, we know we have two formulas: alpha plus beta is equals to b by a and alpha into beta is equals to c by a. That I have to use x square minus six x minus seven. So I'll compare this with a x square plus b x plus c. I'll get the value of a as one if I compare because here the coefficient is one. B here is minus six and C here is minus seven. Now for verification, I know alpha plus beta is B by A, and here I'll write alpha into beta is equals to C by A. But for that, uh, to find out uh, to find out the relationship between zeros and coefficients, I need to know what is the value of alpha, beta. So I'll find out the value of alpha and beta by factorization method, that is splitting the middle term. Okay. So how to do prime factorization? Remember. This will be your sum, which is nothing but minus six, and this will be your product, which is nothing but minus seven. So I have to find out the factors of seven in such a way that I'll get sum as minus six, and I will get product as minus seven. So here, if I use minus seven and plus one, I'll get minus seven ones are minus seven, and also I'll get minus seven plus one is minus six. So what are my factors? Minus seven and plus one. So I'll write x square minus seven x plus x minus seven. Now what I'll do? I'll equate this to zero, and from this two I'll take x common. I'll get x minus seven inside, and from this two also x minus seven is inside. And here I took one common, and here I also have plus. Now this x and this plus one I'll write in one bracket, and this x minus seven I'll write in another bracket. 
I'll equate this x plus 1 to 0 and also I'll equate this x minus 7 to 0. So I'm getting the value of x is minus 1 and I'm getting the value of x is plus 7. So what are my zeros? My zeros are minus 1 and plus 7. So substitute here minus 1 plus 7 is equals to what is b minus 6 by what is a 1. So when minus 1 is 6, minus 6 is equals to minus 6. And here if I substitute alpha is minus 1 into beta over here is 7 is equals to c here is minus 7 by a here is 1. Minus 7 1 is 7 minus into plus is minus. Minus 1 by 1 is minus 7. So here also I'm getting minus 6 is equals to minus 6 and here also I'm getting minus 7 is equals to minus 7. So I got that LHS is equals to RHS so I can say that hence it is verified. Moving on to 10th question. In the 10th question it told me log 27 to the base 3 is x log 25 to the base root 5 is y then I have to show that x plus y is equals to 7. Answer 10. Here it's telling that log 27 to the base 3 is equals to x log 25 to the base root 5 is equals to y and it's asking me to show that x plus y is equals to 7. First in order to show that this is equals to 7 remember always you have to take the LHS okay my LHS is right so in place of this x i'll write this value log 27 to the base 3 plus in place of this y i'll write its value log 25 to the base root 5 okay now i know that 27 can be written as 3 cube because 3 3 is 9 9 3 is 27 to the base 3 plus log 25 can be written as 5 square to the base root 5 now i have this is the form of log x power n to the base a I know that log x power n to the base a is n log x to the base a. So here n is 3 log 3 to the base 3 I am getting. And here I have if you see carefully this phi can be written as root phi square. Okay whole square. Why am I writing phi as root phi square? Because, because I know that root phi into root phi is phi. That is I know that root phi square is phi. So I'm writing this phi as root phi square. Now what can I write this? This is my 3 into what is this value? Log 3 to the base 3. This value is 1 because it is in the form of log n to the base n. So here log n to the base n value is 1. So in place of this log 3 to the base 3 I'll write the value 1 plus log here I have it is how much root phi to the base uh, 2 into 2 will come here. Okay before this. Uh, log root phi. Why? Because these again it is in the form of log x power n. Okay. What is log x power n? n log x. So n here is 2 into 2. So I'll get 3 1s are 3 plus 2 2s are 4 and here I have log root phi. Root phi square if I see here 3 plus 4 is 7. Yeah. And also I have base phi, root phi here. Right. So I can write this as 4 log root 5 to the base root 5. Now this is 3 plus 4 into again it is in the form of log n to the base n. What is log n to the base n? Log n to the base n is 1. So I have 3 plus 4 here. What is 3 plus 4? 7. So I can say that I took the LHS of show that over here x plus y and I substituted the values of x. I substituted the values of y and I got the value as 7. So hence proved. Okay. This is my value which is nothing but 7. 3 plus 4 ones are 4 is equals to 7. I took this as LHS. I got the value of RHS here as 7. In 11th question it told me find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are the sum and product of zeros of the polynomial x square minus 3x plus 5. So first I need to find out the zeros whose zeros are the sum and product of zeros of the polynomial. First, I need to find out the zeros, a uh, sum of zeros for this. The sum of zeros of this is the zeros of this polynomial. So, if you see this question, here in this question, it is telling me I have to find a quadratic polynomial. Okay. Uh, the formula for finding out quadratic polynomial already we discussed x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. For that, we need the value of alpha and beta. How will we get the value of alpha and beta from this? Whose zeros are sum and product of this. So, how to do this? Uh, it is telling me find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are the sum and product of zeros of the polynomial. This polynomial I have to find out the sum and product of zeros and the sum and product of this zeros will be the zeros for this new polynomial. So for this 
I can get the value of a, b and c if I compare it with ax square plus bx plus c. So I am comparing this equation with ax square plus bx plus c. I will get the value of a as 1, b as minus 3, c as 5. Now it told me to find out sum of zeros and product of zeros, right? So I will use the formula of sum of zeros alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a. Alpha plus beta is equals to minus is as it is. b here is minus 3. So I will substitute by 1. a is 1. Alpha into beta is c by a. C is 5 over here and A is 1, 5 by 1 is 5. Now I got the value of alpha plus beta is minus into minus is plus 3 and alpha into beta is 5. Now it told in the question that for the new quadratic polynomial, this sum of zeros is only 0. So this is the value alpha 3 for the new quadratic polynomial and this is the value beta is equals to 5 for the new quadratic polynomial. Now what is the formula to find out quadratic polynomial x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. So x square minus alpha over here is 3 plus beta over here is 5 into x plus alpha is 3 into beta is 5. x square minus 5 plus 3 is 8 x plus 15. So this is my required quadratic polynomial. Okay. Actually it is an easy question but if you understand with concept you will understand this. Now see this uh, 12th question it is telling a uh, is equals to x is to x is a factor of 12 and b is equals to x is to x is an even number less than equal to 12 then draw the Venn diagram of A intersection B. So I need to convert this A in what? In roster form and B also I need to convert into roster form. That A over here is a factor of 12 means what are the factors of 12? I know 12 can be written as 12 ones are 12. So 1 is a factor, 12 is a factor then 12 can be written as 2, 6 are 12. So 2 and 6 are the factors of 12 and 12 can be written as 3, 4 are 12. So 3 and 4 are also the factors of 12 and apart from that I know that I don't have any other factor of 12 okay 2 6 are 3 4 are 12 ones are so I'll write in the ascending order 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 6 comma 12 are my factors of 12 and what is it telling what is B B over here it is telling it is an even number and it is less than or equal to 12 so what are even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It is telling less than or equal to 12 means 12 will also come. Now, we have to find out what Venn diagram of A intersection B. So, let us first find out the intersection B value. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 intersection I am getting. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Intersection means only commons. Okay. So, what are the commons in between them? 2 is common in between them. 4 is common. 6 is common. And also 12 is common. So I'll write 2, 4, 6, 12 are common. And now I'll draw the Venn diagram over here. I know always in Venn diagram you have a rectangular box. On top you'll write mu here. And here at the bottom you'll write A intersection B is equals to 2, 4, 6, 12. And since it is intersecting, I will intersect these two circles. This circle will be my set A and this circle will be my set B. And I'll write the common numbers here 2, 4, 6, 12. And whatever is remaining 1 for set A and 3 for set B, I'll write here. Okay. And for B, what is remaining 8 and 10? I'll write here. And I'll shade the intersection part. So this is my Venn diagram of A intersection B. Okay. Moving on to 13th question. In the 13th question, it is telling. The present age of Ajay is 6 less than 3 times the age of his son. 10 years later, Ajay's age is 2 more than twice of his son's age. Write suitable linear equations for the data. We just have to write suitable linear equations. Since this is an age concept, it is a very easy question. Okay, see, I'll explain you the concept. Here, two things are given. One is Ajay and the other one is Ajay's son. Okay, and it is telling present age of Ajay is 6 less than 3 times the age of his son. So, I'll assume the present age of his son as x because Ajay's age is given in terms of his son's age. So, first I'll write here present age as the heading because it told in the question present age. Okay. And then first I need Ajay's age, right? What is the Ajay's age? I'll assume the Ajay's age is x. Always remember you have to assume the first thing as x and then I'll write the Ajay's father's age as What is it telling? Present age of Ajay is 6 less than 3 times the age of his son. 6 less than means minus 6. And 3 times the age of his son means 3 times means into age of his son. 
son age is x here so i got 3x minus 6 is my ajay's father's age okay this is for present age now what is it telling over here 10 years later ajay's age is 2 more than twice of a son's age and i have to write the suitable linear equation for this for 10 years later so 10 years later means i'll write the heading as after 10 years remember whenever it says later means i have to add plus 10 to both okay now uh what it will be after 10 years means what is ajay's age and what is ajay ajay's what is ajay's age and what is ajay's father ajay's son's age okay this is ajay's son's age actually and this is ajay's age okay so i'll write ajay's age after 10 years is how much x plus 10 and ajay's father's age is how much after 10 years it is 3x minus 6 plus 10 okay which is nothing but 3x 10 minus 6 is 4 so i got 3x plus 4 this is ajay's father's age now what is it telling according to this 3x plus 4 i got so ajay's age is means 3x plus 4 is means equal to okay 2 more than means plus 2 twice of a son's age means 2 into what is a son's age after 10 years x plus 10 so i need to solve this 2 into x plus 10 plus 2 3x plus 4 is equals to multiply with each term 2 into x is 2x 2 into 10 is 20 plus 2 so i got 3x plus 4 is equals to 2x plus 22 okay and if i solve this i'll get 3x as it is plus 2x if it comes aside becomes minus 2x so 3x minus 2x plus 4 and also i have over here plus 22 so when plus 22 goes that side becomes minus 22 and i don't have anything remaining over here so i'm getting 3x minus 2x is x 22 minus 4 is 18 i'm having this is the linear equation okay see how to do this type of sum you have to write equations for present age and present age for both son and ajay and here also after 10 years i need to add 10 10 on both sides of this present ages okay this is how you have to do and whatever it told here i'm writing this by problem this i have written according to problem see 10 years later ajay's age is what is ajay's age after 10 years 3x plus 4 i got so ajay's age is means equal to i wrote 2 more than it is telling so plus 2 i have written over here okay and then it is telling me twice of his son's age so twice of his son's age means 2 into what is the son's age after 10 years x plus 10 and then if i solve i'll get the linear equation